All right, good Friday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. It is a quiet start to the morning, and hopefully it stays that way into the weekend, but we do have a lot more changes coming our direction. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Apologies for the audio quality, having some uh, microphone difficulties across the area, so a little bit difficult to hear. Hopefully everybody's coming in decently clear for this morning, so apologies for that. We'll keep you updated on the rest of the forecast here again coming up just a little bit. If you got any questions across the area where it comes to anything involving uh, the, what's going to be going on with the hurricane, new hurricane could be again down into the Gulf of Mexico. We'll talk more about that coming up here uh, in just a little while but in the meantime we're showing again some pretty quiet conditions for us. Again it could be a bit of a problem for our forecast uh, we'll uh, coming up a little bit later on today uh, in into the rest of the weekend. The meantime, we'll talk to you more about that here in just a little while. Thanks to everybody for joining joining us so far, and if you are just stopping by the Mid-South area for, again, vacation or otherwise, got some fairly quiet conditions out there, and should be staying that way, again, into the rest of the weekend. Let me get our, hopefully, our Facebook people in here to give us an idea as to what's going on. Back with Facebook again. Have to add another layer of tinfoil to the receiver to give people an idea as to what's going on here. Again, pretty quiet for the rest of the weekend uh, where it comes with the temperatures dropping a little bit on the numbers. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. Currently, again, in the Mid-South, we've got a lot of great sunshine out there and should be staying that way. Currently on our camera from Germantown City Hall, beautiful conditions out there looking off to the northwest. A few clouds out on the horizon, not really seeing all that much in the way of major problems. If you've never been here before, and would like to know more, uh, quick check around the screen here. If you have, if you can't stick around for the whole thing, uh, current forecast available in the blue bar scrolling by here. And again, social media here, up there. And if you didn't see it when you came in just a little while ago, back over here. If you'd like to see more of our weather bug cameras, go to wreg.com slash webcams for more. Radar showing something kind of unique and interesting in eastern Arkansas, just to the east of Forest City, that green line that you see on I-40. That's Doppler radar bouncing off a level of the atmosphere and back down to the ground. It's actually detecting a little bit of the traffic on I-40. The signal's a little fainter, thanks in part to the fact that that layer that the radar is bouncing the beam off of is going away. But over the last few hours, we have seen some <coughs> excuse me, pretty good signatures of that radar display taking place at this time. So we have seen some uh, pretty good signatures out there when you take a look at uh, what's been going on for this morning. And again, that's not the only place we've been seeing that as well. We've also been taking a look at a little bit of activity, if I can get my cursor to go do what it's supposed to, right back up into around the boot heel of Missouri, a little bit of some activity showing up around I-40 at that location. That's under velocity scan. Let's go back to reflectivity, and you're going to see, again, little if anything showing up outside of that signature right around I-40 for this morning. Beyond that, no rainfall at this point, nor are we really expecting to see too much of anything. We'll talk more about the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. From our Germantown camera across the rest of the area for this morning, if you'd like to see more of our weather cameras, they're all available at wreg.com slash webcams. Blue skies with a little bit of cloud cover around Heidelberg Elementary in Clarksdale so far this morning. We don't have too much to show you in the way of earthquakes. Matter of fact, nothing whatsoever on the New Madrid fault line. Things have been very quiet here, and hopefully they stay that way. So we're not picking up too much of anything in the way of earthquakes so far. Currently, fog in the Mid-South, not much showing up at this point in time. Visibility is very good. A little bit of heavier fog around northwest Tennessee. Beyond that, we're just not really seeing too much of anything else out there. I'm going to go a little bit closer to what's going on here with temperatures and very pleasant numbers out there. Green, seeing temperatures back in the mid-50s, even some lower 50s showing up around Holly Springs for this morning. Beautiful conditions out there. So some gorgeous start to the day across much of the Mid-South. And if I could get my cursor to do what I want it to do, there we go. Showing again some very pleasant conditions out there. Beautiful across much of the area so far. Thanks to everybody for joining us on Twitter and Periscope so far this morning. And if you have any questions on there or Facebook, drop them into the comment section. We'd love to see what you have available to us in the way of questions about the forecast. The tropics are again active. We've got one system out into, way out into the Atlantic. That again is given about a 40% chance of developing into something a little bit more significant. But 
but so far nothing major taking place with that. Nate is of course the big weather story of the day. Nate is still a tropical storm. It's still moving pretty quickly to the northwest and it is expected to make its way into the Gulf of Mexico where the water is just a little bit less warm than what it is over the Caribbean. So it's going to stay a tropical storm a little bit longer than what we have seen it becoming more of a rapid hurricane. As also add to that, it's going to be avoiding the area of Houston and the area that got clobbered by Harvey a few weeks ago. It may become a hurricane as it approaches the Gulf Coast, so that is something that we're going to have to watch pretty carefully. The pink on screen that indicates, again, tropical storm uh, watches and warnings. Uh, in and around the area. Hurricane warnings have now been posted for Louisiana and for the Mississippi Gulf Coast area for right now. Tropical storm watches in the yellow at this time, or hurricane watches, I should say, right there. Now, the good news and the bad news is that as the system gets a little bit closer to the Gulf Coast, eventually it was aiming a little bit closer to around the Mid-South area, getting a little bit closer to where we were. Now the latest forecast has it bending a little bit farther back to the east so that it'll be a tropical depression by very early Monday morning and then moving out of the picture, heading toward around the tri-state area by the time we get into very early Tuesday. So this is in some ways good news because it'll be taking, if this pattern holds, It'll be taking most of the rainfall with it and out over the Appalachians, the southeast United States, places like that. But we will be watching to see what goes on with this because as this system gets a little bit closer, that again is going to determine what goes on. With an approaching cold front moving in from the west, that may actually help to shepherd that storm off to the east and get rid of it heading away from us. So good news on that for us into the rest of the forecast. But if you're heading east to, say, Nashville, Knoxville, Chattanooga, Atlanta, Birmingham, back up into around the D.C. area, anything around New York City in the next couple of days. More rainfall for you. And there's going to be some pretty decent amounts of rainfall heading our way as we get into the forecast. Matter of fact, parts of the Mid-South could be looking at at least another two inches of rainfall. Lots of rain down toward the Gulf Coast states. But for us, it's going to be at least a little bit more limited. And that'll be into around the area of 6 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. That'll be the best possibility of rainfall there. Rest of the area picking up some very heavy rainfall as we go into very early Monday morning. And then chances of rainfall starting to dwindle. But it depends on how fast this system gets on out of here. The trouble is as this system rotates on through, rain can wrap around the top side of that. And that could give us even more rainfall for that area, Nashville and points northeast. So that could be a bit of a problem there. Here in the Mid-South, again, the only threat for weather showing up on uh, Sunday is a one wind. Windy conditions expected down toward Tupelo, Corinth, into and around northwestern Alabama as the remnants of this storm make their way back toward the north and to the east. So that could be something that could be a bit of a problem. Add to that, we may see the potential of some severe weather in the very close to the Mid-South. Thunderstorms, yes, but the best possibility of severe weather will be well on down toward the Gulf Coast states as what's left of Nate continues up this direction. We'll continue to monitor what's going on with Nate into the near future, again, as this system continues to drive its way a little bit farther to the north. The other problem we've got at this time is again the sea surface temperatures at this point we are looking at some very warm conditions where that storm is the purple showing conditions of about 85 to 90 degrees on the water there not quite as hot into the gulf of mexico but just warm enough to where it's going to sustain this thing and keep it going so we will have to watch again as this thing gets a little bit closer to the mid-south area again threat of severe weather not huge but it will be possible out there and we're going to be keeping our eyes on that as we go into the course of the rest of the week. Now for forecast details, let me take one quick look here and show you what it's going to be looking like uh, through the area for the rest of the day. Mainly looking at high temperatures later on this afternoon back into around the mid to upper 80s. Another very warm day coming up today. Friday night football tonight. It's no rainfall expected, so you're not going to need the umbrella. You're definitely going to need the shirt sleeves as temperatures throughout the Mid-South will be back in the upper 70s to lower 80s. And chances of rainfall are 
not really going to increase until we get into Saturday morning. So you may see an opportunity very briefly on Saturday morning of getting into uh, the outdoors for some activities. But then as we go throughout the rest of the day, even more chances of rainfall are going to be expected as we get into the rest of Saturday and unfortunately right on into Sunday. So about 50, 60, 75, 80% chance of rainfall, especially across northeast Mississippi. And that's where we could see, again, a lot of problems. Maybe with flash flooding, depending on how much rainfall we get, that's something we're going to be watching very carefully. If you have binoculars, take a look outside. You'll be able to take a look at a new comet. It will be available uh, with binoculars out there, but it will, again, be a little bit difficult to spot out there. Uh, information on this, I thought I had it up here uh, from space.com, but you should be able to take a look at that and find out more about what's in the sky for right now. Again, it's a great opportunity to learn more about what's coming up for tonight. The harvest moon last night was absolutely gorgeous. There's the information I was looking for. Space.com, newfound comet. It's comet C slash 201701 ASAS dash SN. A uh, great opportunity to see this, and this will be, again, an opportunity to take a look at this uh, for a little bit later on tonight. Uh, if you have that, again, it would be a good opportunity to see more with that. Uh, it will be found in the constellation of C uh, Cetus the Whale, and that will be, again, uh, fairly close to Aridinus the River and in and around the area of Taurus the Bull in the next several days and weeks. So space.com if you'd like to know more about what's going on there. Tian Gong Space Station will be available barely for visibility tonight from southwest back toward the northeast, that will be flying through just after 7.05 for later on tonight, if you'd like to try to take a look at that. Again, clouds may start to make their way into the area, which could be a bit of a problem. No iridium flares are expected at this time. If you'd like to know more about what's going on overhead, check out heavensabove.com. That's heavens-above.com for much more. The Memphis Astronomical Society, their monthly meeting will be held tonight. That will be at Christian Brothers University. That will be tonight at 8 o'clock in the Assisi Science Hall Science Auditorium. I believe that's room 155. Talk tonight will be by James Bruce McMath on light pollution, public awareness. And then after the break, Felix Springfield will talk more about black holes. That's the Memphis Astronomical Society at memphisastro.com. Org. You can find out more on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash austinoniwreg. More on my Twitter page at twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg. No underscore necessary, instagram.com aonic wreg3. And, of course, you can check us out uh, on Twitter or on Facebook or on Periscope like we are doing right now. Cool, it's me watching me watching me. And I haven't seen that uh, for quite some time. And, of course, check us out online. Got a lot more to talk about there. If you didn't get a chance to see the seven-day forecast, that's available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to take a look at my forecast into the course of the next several days. And if you have the opportunity to listen both on radio today to Bob and Josh for about the next hour through 9 o'clock on Talk Back Live on AM 730 or catch my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas broadcast stations, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. A lot more to talk about into the weekend. We'll be having more on your forecast coming up throughout the rest of the day online and on air. So stay tuned for more information about what we've got going on there and keeping you updated as well on your forecast right on through the weekend and beyond. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from downtown Memphis. Stick around for more with News Channel 3 on air and online right into the rest of the weekend.